The asked question needs to be redirected a little bit. The question you need to be asking yourself is not this, it's the exact opposite. Can we afford not to escalate this issue? Let me give you an example. In April of 1988, the USS Samuel B. Roberts, an American frigate, struck an Iranian mine in the Persian Gulf. The mine was part of Iran's effort to control maritime navigation in the region during the Iran-Iraq War. The mine was severely damaged by the frigate, leading to significant U.S. military and U.S. Navy response. The response? Operation Praying Mantis. It took place on April 18, 1988, and it was the largest American naval combat operation since World War II. The U.S. targeted Iranian naval and oil rig facilities in retaliation for the mine incident. The destruction of those two Iranian oil platforms used as command and control centers by the Iranian Revolutionary Guard, the sinking of one Iranian frigate, one gunboat, and up to three speedboats, not to mention significant damage to another frigate. This operation significantly impacted Iran's naval capabilities in the region and marked a critical moment in our U.S.-Iranian relations. During latter stages of the Iran-Iraq War, the operation was induced to deter Iran from further mining and aggressive actions in the Gulf, and it has also highlighted the risk of military escalation in the region. We gotta prune that hedge. I mean seriously, Iran thinks they can use these proxies with unlimited impunity without having some type of retaliation, and I'm not gonna lie to you, those groups are going to get hit hard by this campaign. And I'm, honestly, a lot of Americans are very sick and tired of the way Iran has been practicing their military and the way that they're continuing to arm all of these terrorist groups with the most up-to-date technology that they can get their little grubby hands on. So, do we sit back, do nothing, it get worse, or we prune that fucking hedge? We give the Iranians a response that they probably should have expected. Um, I don't... I, war by proxy is a, a, a common topic and a thing we can all understand. The people who are responsible for, for that should also be responsible. Economic sanctions are going to do what? Agitate them? See, here's the difference between Operation Praying Mantis and what happened to the Samuel B. Roberts is, is no one died on that boat. No one died. The sailors survived. They were able to get their boat back in working order, or at least stop it from sinking, where it got brought back to port and it continued service after it was repaired. Now here's my question. How many American service members died? Three. Forty are injured. Some are in critical condition right now as we speak, fighting for their lives. So let me ask you a question. Do we sit by, do nothing, making the Iranians think that they are at free reign to continue this, and this wasn't the last straw? Or we absolutely wipe those groups off the face of the fucking planet with the most advanced Navy, with the most advanced Air Force, with the second best Air, Air Force on the planet, which would be the Navy and make them hurt. They are responsible. Now, who funds those groups? Who supplies those groups with literally everything? Everything. Who trains those groups through all of their sophisticated methods? The Iranian Revolutionary Guard. Who gives them orders? You're telling me, you're telling me these groups are sitting with Iranian uniforms. Iranian weapons, Iranian gas, Iranian trucks, Iranian tanks, Iranian anti-ship missiles, Iranian combat equipment, all freshly made for them. And you're telling me that Iran has no say in any of their groups? Really? Seriously? Two things can happen. Two things really simple. We can either just strike the groups, pummel them, absolutely detriment them, but they'll be back. They'll be resupplied, retrained, more idiots will join their cause, and guess who's going to be funding it all? The Iranians, which causes this solution to be an endless repeating thing, and the Iranians will just continue doing it because they feel like they're 
that they're not going to have any repercussions? We're talking about America, right? So let me ask you something. The second scenario is those groups still get striked, but Iran is on that list. What do you think is going to happen? A full-out war? Iran's going to get striked to the fucking brink. You know what they're going to probably do? Two things. Obviously, they may declare war, but I have a feeling um, they're going to lick their wounds. I, I genuinely don't think they're going to declare war because that would be really bad. Not for us. For them. It's simple. It's, it's a simple math, simple calculus. Do I want war? No. Would I like Iran to stop using their terrorist groups to constantly harass and attack people who are just doing their fucking job? Which, in that case, is either doing operations or simply just being on a fucking base. I don't believe in turning the cheek. Especially when American men and women are either fighting for their life right now or are no longer with us. So, the question I asked in the beginning of this is simple. Can we afford not to do anything? Or is it going to cost us more not to do anything?